terrorists. Hold on. Here's Terra's Daily Rant. Good morning, Lee. Hey there, Tara. We're getting a bigger peek at an extraordinary story. When you think of how many people, Jeffrey Epstein, you know, the guy who didn't kill himself? Yeah, yeah, right. That guy? Yeah. Um, Of the extraordinary power Epstein would have had over just a growing list of people he was associated with, we still don't have the client list, which is incredible that we were able, as a country, to convict Ghislaine Maxwell of being a pimp, right? Of mm-hmm. pimping underage girls yeah. for sex right? without ever knowing who she sold them to. Yeah. I mean, it's just, it's just it bog- and by the way, the DOJ has the list, the Department of Injustice, and it is staggering and outrageous to me that these people on the list are so privileged. These are, you want to talk about privilege. These people have privilege. They're yeah. a lot of them are Democrats mm-hmm. uh, or they're powerful, rich people that these people have not been prosecuted. They're guilty of pedophilia. I mean, they, like actual child assault. And yet their names are protected by the Department of Justice. It's one of the most shocking and outrageous things going on in our in, in our time. Maybe that's why the U.N. and the left are trying to downplay the uh, um, wrongfulness of pedophilia and, and get it decriminalized. Boy, if you've been listening to the Battleground podcast this week, I mean, that's what that's about. Yeah, they exactly. are trying to legalize it in Minnesota. Yeah. They're trying to legalize it in Colorado. Mm-hmm. I mean, Democrat, one Democrat on the floor of the Colorado legislature this week Almost in tears, she cracked up because they were talking about making exposing your genitals to children a felony instead of a misdemeanor. And she's talking about the victim. The victim here, it'll be so hard to the victim. At first, you're thinking, oh, the child? No, no, no. She's talking about the adult. The exposer. The exposer. This is the mentality left. This is the mentality of the Democrats. This is what they want to do. But when you see this, okay, just two stories here. New York Post, okay? The former... Head of Barclays, Jess Daly, client of Epstein, who uh, is in court, uh, violent, accused of violently raping a minor, provided to him by Epstein. Listen to how high up this goes. J.P. Morgan Chase CEO Jamie Dimon will testify. He has been ordered by a judge to put two days aside because what Staley did, Staley before Barclays worked for J.P. Morgan Chase, and... Uh, what the attorneys are, they're, they're trying to shake down J.P. Morgan Chase for money. And if what the attorneys are saying is, shoot, is true, J.P. Morgan Chase should pay damages um, that essentially Staley uh, was was using Epstein to bring business to J.P. Morgan Chase. And then and then he was introducing the high flyer clients to Epstein in re- response. So in other words, hey, you come over here to J.P. Morgan Chase, you put your investment accounts with us. We're going to hook you up with a guy who's got a lot of minors you can hang out with on his pedophile island. That's how high up this guy. This is J.P. Morgan Chase. The biggest bank in the country. That yes. Is, that is taking over more banks as, as the regional banks are failing now. The top banker is going to have to answer questions. So that's how uh, that's how they did it. And and let, let me just I'll tell you what they were doing. Hey, you want access to minors? Not an easy thing to get, right? Yeah, well, you bank with us at J.P. Morgan Chase. We'll hook you up with a guy who can get you a 13-year-old on an island. It boggles the mind. Terrorists want it. Here, the Terra Show, weekday mornings on News Talk 98.9. W-O-R-D, the voice of the Carolinas.